Hey guys, welcome back to Hope for Tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. We're going through the book of Proverbs. We're doing a proverb a day because it keeps the enemy away. We don't even want to give him a name, especially in my house. Um, last episode, we went through Proverbs 1, and that's the beginning of knowledge. Um, Solomon, Solomon was known as the most wise person person in the bible and possibly the world and you can see this by reading proverbs psalms of david solomon had some in there as well uh but let's kick off with uh proverbs 2 which talks about the value of wisdom my son if you receive my words and treasure my commandments within you so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. Yes, if you cry out for your discernment and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk uprightly. He guards the past of the paths of justice and preserves the way of his saints. Then you will understand the righteousness and justice, equity and every good path. When wisdom enters your heart and knowledge is pleasant to your soul, discretion will preserve you, understanding will keep you, to deliver you from the way of evil, from the man who speaks perverse things, from those who leave the paths of up uprightness, to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice in doing evil and delight in the perversity of the wicked, whose ways are crooked, and who are devious in their paths to deliver you from the immoral woman, from the seductress who flatters with her words, who forsakes the companion of her youth and forgets the covenant of her God. For her house leads down to death and her paths lead to the dead. None who go to her will return, nor do they regain the paths of life. So you may walk in the way of goodness and keep to the paths of righteousness. For the upright will dwell in the land and the blameless will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the earth and the unfaithful will be uprooted from it. That's a good word. There's in chapter one, to receive instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equity. Then in chapter 2, verse 9, then you will understand righteousness and justice, equity in every good path. Aren't we seeing this word a lot lately? And I underlined it this. Because man keeps trying time and time again to go before God, or I would say try to go above God. But God provides this, not man. We need to stop listening to man. Get in your word. All of the world's problems would be solved if we got into God's word. God says he brings righteousness and justice and equity and every good path. If we just follow his word. And yes, this is a thing that we need. We need this stuff. But not on man's terms. Because man, the heart of man is evil. It's pure evil. 
the Ten Commandments is a moral code ingrained in our conscience. We break every single commandment. But you know, the the God is so rich in mercy. He sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. And if we believe that he did it for us, we're saved. That's the first step. Then we start reading his word. This is God's love letter to us. I don't know. I God really wanted me, or I don't want to say that. He he put it on my heart to share that. Holy I Holy Spirit is working through this right now. He provides the equity. He provides the good path. Are we willing to go down that path? A pastor says, people believe Jesus. They believe in the cross. But Jesus said we have to pick up our cross. Are you willing to pick up your cross We'll leave it there. Guys, thanks again for joining us. This is Hope for Tomorrow. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, If you're listening on the podcast, give us five stars. Comment down below what you got out of today's reading. And thanks for joining us. It's Frank on the couch, or Frank next to the tank. Uh, This is Hope for Tomorrow. I'm Frank Warrington. Thank you. Y'all have a great day.